Welcome back to my YouTube channel with sound adjustment of stringed instruments. There's one other detail. We were talking about the area around the bridge, how the bridge is and how the spring. On the upper part, here, on the upper nut, it's as important as down here. Now, I'm certainly, I'm not a scientific uh, researcher, I'm just a violin maker, but somehow I have my theory of how sound is transmitted and how you get the maximum out of your violin, okay? So it's a little bit, in my mind, like a, the transmission of temperature, okay? Now the cell phone is ringing and we have to make a short stop. Back again here. So I think that the sound is transmitted a little bit like you could imagine temperature is transmitted. So if the spring doesn't really attach fully on the bridge, on the tailpiece, on the upper nut, then it doesn't, it's not transmitted as nice. But now focus just for you as a musician on the upper nut. You would say the upper nut doesn't create the sound, it's correct, it's the violin, it's the bridge. But if something here doesn't work very well, you're consuming strings for nothing and the buyer is da damaging your string all the time. And there is even a sound you could hear which is not clean. Now, first of all, I show you how this should be how the shape of the violin is made. This, let's say, is now my peg box from the scene from the side, okay? This is our nice neck. It's really turning out really beautiful. Now I'm drawing here also. So this one now is, ah, is the fingerboard, okay? And here comes the string. Now it's saturating a little bit, so you can imagine. And the string comes to the upper nut, and then we have four pegs. And every peg is actually in a different position. Okay? So you would say, you just make this upper nut black, strings pass over, and that's it. Now if you do it like this, uh, your upper nut won't be correct. Now you're a musician, you don't, don't have to do a, a upper nut, but I just show you here between one string and let's say a very extreme other issue here, another one. Let's say just these two strings so you see better the difference. One is going in one direction, another one is in another direction. So on the front view, they all go to a different direction. So one goes here, one goes here, one goes here, and one goes here. And they go also in a very different direction from this point of view. So every, all four strings go in different directions. The upper nut should adjust this direction of, of the string, okay? So the upper nut, a correct upper nut, is the sum of all these strange directions. Sounds very difficult and you as a musician you cannot actually um, create it because you're not dedicating all the time to make it. But once you have your violin now in front of you, you can take a look and look how comes the string is always damaged in that area. So what I want to show you is in this action in this area if you have the string here coming on and you want to put it in another direction, in this area it should not be like thick, thick and then you have a, a squeezing tot, but it should be, if this is very nice turning, okay, you can just say, ah, this is good. So the, the change of the direction is just going on the upper nut. This is my upper nut seen from the side here, okay? 
Now it seems all extremely complicated. Let's have a look at the instruments and you will see them. Here for instance, one thing is if it is turning too quick. Now we take a close up and then you see better. If it's turning, especially on the G string, if it's turning too quick and then it is kind of too early straight again, the empty G string makes a zzzz. And you can tell there is like a zzzz. There's something, I don't know, a frigge in Italiano. I don't know how you call it in English. It's just uh, not clean the string. And this you can also try in putting your fingernail just on the very end. And then it's completely different. And this is, can happen on every string, okay? Sometimes the higher the string is, the less you can actually focus this problem. But just already by looking at it, you can see, oh, there is a dot which has to be taken away. So now how can you take that away? Certainly if you have nice files like me, you take off that string. I take it off, take away the string in that area. And then I have just a big box with all these kind of files inside. In German they call it the mouse tail. I don't know if it's also in English. So then I'm just filing exactly in that right direction in order to take away this and to make it the way it should be. Very nice is also if you put some pencil, graph it on that area. Sometimes you take some violins and they're all black and you get black because they saturate with that. I don't know if you can hear it on the video because that doesn't make any zzz anymore, okay? So we have resolved already this small problem. If all these minor problems are solved, you wouldn't believe the entire instrument will sound much better. If you like this video, just subscribe and put your comment down below or send me even some pictures of your violin and your problems. I'm open. I love to see your problems, okay? See you next time. Bye-bye.